So I wanted to actually start by saying congratulations on the film because I saw it on Thursday and it was absolutely amazing and hard to watch at the same time. But yeah. um, it was your first time actually seeing the film completed. Yeah, well, or, I've, I've, you know, you'd seen yeah, most I've, of it. I've seen it a hundred times, but I, have, I hadn't seen it with 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 the with the audience fin finished no also oh, the, the calibrated fin the finished color grading and the sound because it all came down very fast and I had to go away so I had seen the final mix with a, with a pre color grading and then with the finished color grading I hadn't seen it and I just you know I could see it but then I wanted to wait with an audience I just wanted to get that feeling so, you know it's always difficult as a director to watch your own things because it's just full of mistakes and it's full of all the things you, you wanted to do and you could have done so it was important to get a little bit away from it and uh, so yeah what was it like saying with the audience for both of you it was a fantastic experience I, 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 I'm, I'm always a little insecure until I, I get people's reaction because I always think I can do better you know so so I, I don't relax until I, I see people's reactions. So, so I was pretty satisfied with the standing ovation for five minutes. Oh, actually, I, I, I got a little uncomfortable uh, at the end because I, keep, I was like, what am I going to do? Overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it was really overwhelming. It was. We were thrilled and excited to be here. And it's, it's an honor. So, yeah. yeah, big honor. It's, it, well, and the story itself has flown completely under the radar. I mean, I don't. you mentioned, I think, that you don't learn about it in, in Denmark, but obviously we don't learn about it in North America either. What brought it to your attention? I think it's because we, we as a nation always portray ourselves as the good guys. I guess every nation do because you don't like the image of you actually doing something wrong. Or, or, but I think we as, as humans learn a lot more about who we are by looking at our mistakes. So to me, that was my, that was my intention with the movie to to point out a chapter that we as a nation should look on, but also should learn from, and uh, and uh, that it's okay that we're not proud of it, but but that it might give us something in the future. And also because we have a lot of things now going on in Europe with refugees that we don't behave if, in, according to me like we should do um, so so um, yeah so that was that was my first way into the, to the when you mentioned uh, actually at the Q and A after the film um, you said something that really stuck with me that you think that humanity is or should be better than kind of the eye for an eye justice that you see depicted in the movie. Yeah. Is that one of the takeaways that you want audiences to get from the film? Definitely, yeah. definitely. It's 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 very important for me to 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 show that we we, we as as humans should should change and we shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, you, you I when I leave everybody blind, you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. uh, and, 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 and yeah, I, I said this before, but 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 for me, it's also that sometimes when you fight monsters, you must be aware that you don't become one yourself. Exactly. And 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 the thing with an eye for an eye, it doesn't help anybody in the long run. Uh, so, so we need. We, I know it's a cliche, but when you point fingers at someone else. Three fingers is pointing back at you, yeah. and, and 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 I think we should learn from from our mistakes in the past, and, and not just be vengeance all the time. And that's, that's it makes it makes us all losers. And I think if 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 you behave that way, it's going to resolve the result of that is going to be even worse. You know, also the way the world is going now. You know, <clears throat> even with you know the way we treated people uh, in Guantanamo, and it, it, it all evolves into something. Where is this going? Where is where is this? This is not a solution. We need to we need to sit down and talk. And how how do we how do we move on from this? You know? If you want to fix the problem, you have to understand it. Yeah. So if you don't understand your enemy, it, it's hard to fix it. You can, and yeah. so uh, yeah. Well, and there's a tendency, I think, in, in conflict especially, to dehumanize the other side so that you can kind of move on with with the task at hand. And your character, in particular, I think the catalyst for him is is when the boys become human yeah. to him. Mm. What point do you think that actually, where, where he starts to kind of make that transition and kind of shift his thinking? I think his first surprise is that he sees his boys. He has this uh, picture of an enemy that comes up, and now now it's re revenge time for him, you know. And then these boys are standing there, you know. And, and, and but 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 it, it it comes slowly when he when he realized that. 
that they are humans too, and 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 and, and, and boys are not born evil. Some somebody has brainwashed uh, these boys, and and and, uh, and 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 it was important for us that it, it's it, it developed slowly, you know. Uh, the, the the drama is on the plate yeah. all the time, and, and it works better, I think. It's it's, it's like. If you scream all the time, you lose you, you lose the danger side of it. Yeah. But but if you all of a sudden speak slowly and long, then it's like oh, oh what's happening now, you know? And then then we I found out that you, you you cannot fool your audience and you cannot talk down to them and and, and and they see much more than you think. So 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 it's not that important that it really is. The, here is it. He's translating. You know, it, it, it's transforming. Yeah. It was also important for us. That's, yeah. that, that's why we shot him from the back. When, for instance, the first when, when when he's screaming for his mom and screaming for the sergeant, that 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 I, I didn't want the audience to know whether he went out there with the morphine if he was tired of him screaming or because he was feeling sorry for him. It was always, you know, is this is this where he changed or is this just because he can't stand the noise? Uh, uh, so. I was going to ask that if that moment is kind of the catalyst, but you leave it kind of ambiguous. I, I, yeah, I try to leave it open because it should be a, a smooth transition, so to speak. Yeah. Well, and the, the boys in the film are, I mean, they look so young that they have that look of innocence to begin with, so you can see what he sees when he first is confronted with them. What was the casting process like for, for choosing not just the 14, but Roland and Mikael as well? Well, um, if I start with, with Roland, I, I had seen Roland in in a, in, a, in a few movies where he really, really surprised me how how, how good he was and uh, his whole way of, of of being real, you know, not being an actor, not you know, being present. And I I, I wanted somebody who was uh, able to to bring out that rage it, I mean but it was it was it was a chance it was uh, because he had it was his first lead and uh, there was a lot of you know that's how it is producers distributors all that they, they wouldn't they didn't think it was a great idea but I, I, I said I really want him I think he can do it I think he's one of the best there is and uh, and he can transform he can I tell you I will we will get him there he can transform <laughs> uh, but I also think that's a human thing. We, we as humans, we all try to become better persons. So that's why it's you know, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I always try to become better than I was yesterday. Uh, it's it's a natural, natural thing for, for. And the boys was well. I had help. I'm a big fan of, of uh, Michael Haneke. So I used uh, Simone Bear, who was Haneke's casting. And I knew she would find boys for me that was special, boys I would like. And, and then it was important for me that they hadn't done the, the, the normal Christmas movies and uh, all those things that we had seen them so many times before that. So so I, d I actually looked more for street cast and stuff like that. Than, um, yeah. So that the audience is kind of meeting them for the first time, not just as the characters, but as actors yeah, too, yeah, in a yeah. way, much like your character is meeting them for the first time. Yeah, but, but my challenge was that I knew I could intimidate people because I'd done that in other movies and I won a prize for it, but could I, I make empathy and I, could I make people cry? And, 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 and that was... Uh, yeah, that was the big challenge for me in this movie, and and there was a woman. She came for me uh, when at the premiere afterwards. She said, "Oh my God, you made me cry," and I said, "I'm sorry I made you cry, but I'm happy I touched you." And then, then she gave me a big hug for a long time. <laughs> it's like, you know, but and that's when I say, "Okay, maybe you did it." But, but, uh, that brought me some kind of a yeah. satisfaction. I also think it's interesting as you as. Uh, uh, that we as uh, as humans, you know, it's actually his fault that ten of these boys died. Yeah, he saves four, but still, he is still a monster. And why does he do it? To live with himself or to set them free? It's also a fine balance. Is it because he has to live 40 more years and he has to be able to look at himself in the eyes? I think that's an important question. Why do we do the things we do in life? Why do we make the choices we do? Um, so that's also what I found interesting with with, with the movie, and is that 
In some movies, the, the heroes are always good, good, and the bad guys are bad, bad. But we as humans are not like that. We all have a good and a bad side in us, and we, we, we have to uh, face the bad side every day. And that, that I, I thought it was really interesting to work with in this movie, you know, and, and, and this translation, uh, trans transition he has in, in the movie. Is, is he's fighting with it all the time. He knows what's right, but he's still doing something wrong. And then he tries to make it up uh, in the end, but is he a hero or is he not a hero? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he just a human? Yeah. You know, that's, that's the big question. He's, he's, in, in, my, my, in my world, he's a, he's a simple, simple guy, but deep down inside, his values are, are good, you know. Deep down inside, there is something good inside us all. But that's, that's, you know, when you fight monsters, you must be where you don't become one yourself. Uh, Nietzsche said that when you glance into the abyss, the abyss also glances into you. And that's what it's really about. Well, and I think it's, it's incredibly compelling in the movie because you do understand, even though they are kind of the bad guys in the film, they're not typical or standard in that sense because you understand where their anger comes mm, from. Totally. You don't necessarily agree with, with how it then manifests itself, but yeah. it's it's relatable because you mm -hmm. understand. I mean, the, as you say, the, the enemy that he had in his mind isn't the enemy that he's confronted with. And, and I think if you get, I think it would be like that, oh, if you get to learn your enemy, you get to learn to know him, then you would discover, hey, they're just like me. Why do we hate each other? Yeah. And you also, you filmed in, on the West Coast where yes, the movie actually yes, takes place. Yes. Was that incredibly important for you to have? Yes, yes, there? and it was actually almost not not working because it's, a, it's, it's the only untouched area in Denmark. It's a military area and they do rehearsals every 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 day so but eventually they gave us five weeks to shoot there but it's still packed with landmines and stuff like that so we had to be careful we couldn't just walk off and we found a, a real landmine i was yeah. gonna say you mentioned that <laughs> yeah. what was that experience like were you actually there when it happened or was it just coincidentally kind of when you were in the area no no we were there but but you know you you know that that you, there are still mines over there you know uh, uh, so I, I don't believe they they found them all uh, there, so. there, was, uh, there, was, uh, no, no, there was someone who said that Martin did with sand what Spielberg did with water. I, I heard <laughs> that, and it, I'm not going to lie, it, it is going to make me think twice before stepping on buildings. Yeah. I think you can rent a lot of cheap summer houses in Denmark next summer. At the West Coast. Yeah, well, and you said that you might have single-handedly kind of messed with uh, <laughs> Danish tourism. I can see that, but as an actor, does that really add something for you to yes, be able to definitely, build on? Yes, definitely. Uh, the, the, the whole history about it and, and the atmosphere, the wind was blowing, the sand in your eyes and everything added up to 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 be to make it more real it has a lot to and also we was taping in a real uh, 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 german um, base in germany north germany and it, it all added up and it helps yeah. me as an actor a lot yeah. to to be at the right places it yeah. just adds something to it wow. well and the, the film was you mentioned was um was filmed on handheld as opposed to yeah. what made you go with that decision was it kind of the intimacy that that kind of provides to the audience yeah I, I, I would like it to to feel alive to feel that it's it's almost breathing and my wife who's the dp um she's uh I mean, awesome, awesome, <laughs> and she yeah. does the most smooth handheld ever, and it's with long lenses, and even some of the uh, second unit DPs who came on, you know, we just had to let them go because they couldn't, they couldn't hold the camera as still as we wanted to. Uh, so. She's, she was really, really strong. Uh, but, uh, well, and there's one particular moment in the film that, that stood out for me in terms of the shooting of it, too. It's that it's a wide shot um, when Ernst walks purposefully in, into the, land, the, the field of yeah. landmines, and you can see the boys and your character watching. But, and, but the sound is different as well. It's the only explosion in the film. That, that it doesn't have that a sound. is quiet. Yeah. What made you kind of make that decision? I thought it was a really interesting choice. I think you know we've we've had all these explosions with big bangs and big bangs. So we and because it's 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 a shot where we expect we expect the, the, the so we all sit like we all sit like yeah. this. And if you that do was it, me during the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do it without sound, you will keep that feeling ex instead of exploding the feeling into the next scene where he's sitting. You know you you. you yeah, prolong the, 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 so, yeah. It's an amazing movie. Thank you so much Thank for you. your Thank time. You. I, was, I was really glad to see it.
Thank you. Fantastic. And Thank good you. luck with the rest of your day. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. It was Thank very nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.